And speaking of things that are outrageous, let me tell you about China's new technology that promises to make fighter jets invisible, silent and more deadly. You heard that right. Chinese scientists have reportedly created new stealth technology that can take aircraft off the enemy radar. And if this is true, this could be the future of air warfare. Now here's what we know about the secret new Chinese technology. A team of scientists and engineers from Western China say they have created a new generation plasma stealth device. Now, unlike its predecessors, which generate a cloud of plasma draped over a plane, the new tech can be tailored to fit a sensitive section of military aircraft, meaning parts of aircraft like the radar dome, the cockpit, or the other spots most vulnerable to an enemy's radar detection. They are calling it a closed electron beam plasma stealth device. And this new plasma stealth device focuses on protecting key areas of an aircraft. Instead of the entire aircraft, it can be activated on in an instant to fool enemy radar operators. Now you must be wondering, how exactly does this new device work? Well, simply put, the goal is to create a layer of plasma around the aircraft, one that can absorb or deflect radar waves. And this makes the aircraft less visible to radar det detection. According to reports, in fact, two types of plasma stealth devices have already been put to the test. One coats the aircraft's radar-prone areas with a radioactive isotope emitting rays to ionize the air and create a dense plasma layer that can scatter radar signals. The other uses high-frequency, high-voltage electricity to activate and ionize the gas medium outside the aircraft thereby creating a plasma region. Now, if this sounds complicated to you, you are not alone. Scientists have been studying the concept of plasma stealth technology for decades, but have struggled to find a workable way of using this technology on their aircraft. The technology can be traced back to the Cold War era. Both the US and the Soviet Union had poured their resources into the research and development of plasma stealth technology. However, due to technological constraints, it never progressed beyond the lab phase. So while in traditional stealth aircraft, such as the B-2 Spirit, radar absorbent materials are used, and special shaping is done, the plasma stealth tech works differently. It basically uses a cloud of ionized gas. So while the West is still looking for breakthroughs, China, it seems, has succeeded. It has created an invisible shield for its aircraft against high-power microwave weapons. You know what that means? Future confrontations between major military powers would give China an edge. And with this new technology, even a conventional fighter jet, once not designed for stealth, can significantly reduce the radar signature. And this is why this new technology is potentially game-changing in aerial combat. And what's more, Chinese fighter jets could soon have this technology, which is not surprising considering China's rapidly growing demand for superior military capabilities. And what's more, Chinese scientists have reportedly even extended the use of this technology in space by using an alkali metal jet plasma generator to form a plasma cloud, achieving stealth for weapon platforms like intercontinental, intercontinental missiles or spy satellites. But it's not a perfect system yet. Apparently, the existing plasma stealth technology has some drawbacks. When exposed to an open environment, the plasma is difficult to shape precisely. And at the same time, maintain a consistently high density. Further, gaps in the plasma can allow electromagnetic waves to reflect back, revealing the aircraft's position. And that is literally the opposite of what you want in stealth technology. And that has not deterred the Chinese. Apparently, the Chinese Air Force is now trying to build on existing achievements. They are trying to develop a closed plasma stealth technology. Researchers anticipate real life implementation of this technology soon. But India is not far behind. India's counter stealth capabilities include quantum radar, 
integrated mobile camouflage systems, radar absorbing paint, counter UAS systems, several anti-stealth radars, several others are also in the works. Indian researchers also have developed a new technology that can make military equipment invisible to radars. They have been able to develop a material that can make stealth vehicles less visible. This new material, according to reports, can absorb a wide range of radar frequencies or signals. The team of researchers from the Indian Institute of Technology have developed this technology. They say it can be used to cover windows and glass panels of the stealth vehicles as well as covert establishments. It will help make them evade radar detection, thereby making them more secure. The proposed design uses optically transparent indium tin oxide called ITO to coat polyethylene terephthalate sheet. It is a common thermoplastic that provides high dimensional stability, excellent mechanical strength and good resistance. In fact, tests done last year showed that this technology can absorb over 90% of radar waves in a wide range of frequencies. And not just that, India is also working on cutting-edge anti-stealth radars. They are the next frontiers in defense, in fact. What does anti-stealth radar do? They are basically designed to detect and track stealth aircraft. And they do this without emitting any signal of its own. They are extremely covert and very effective. And that's not all. India's Defence Laboratory of Defence Research and Development, the DRDO, has also developed radar absorbing paint. It will help aircraft reduce their radar signature and this will give them a greater degree of stealth. <laughs> Now, I hate to be the harbinger of bad news, but here's something that is unlikely to travel well with India's IT employees or those looking to join the information technology sector in India. As per reports, IT pay packages this year are expected to drop by as much as 40%. Meaning, if your senior from college was offered a lakh per month when she joined an IT firm from campus last year, your offer letter may read 60,000 rupees a month. I know that's not fair, but that's the reality. The job sector is not in a great shape. What or whom should you blame is the question. Well, this story has multiple villains. Let's start with demand versus supply. You see companies, IT or non-IT, hired massively during the COVID-19 pandemic. The world turned to wild, World Wide Web. Tech companies needed more resources to meet the growing demand. And so they hired across verticals, IT, marketing, human resources, you name it. But now with the pandemic coming to an end, there is a new normal one where companies, again IT and non-IT, find themselves overstaffed. And what's the result? Layoffs and fall in demand for staff. In comparison, the number of college graduates have not dropped. If anything, every year you have more and more graduates. That skews the demand supply graph against your paycheck. And here's what else is not helping your salary, the state of the global economy. In India, a lot of IT employees work with Silicon Valley tech giants or European firms. Now, in case you have not noticed, Western economies are not faring too well. The UK, for example, entered recession last week. Recession and reduced wages go hand in hand. And they also lead to layoffs. People are losing their jobs across the pyramid, from junior staff to mid-senior workers. Layoffs mean there is also a large pool of talent available to join immediately. A lot of experienced resources are currently out of job. Many of them are ready to take a pay cut, if that means they will have an assured offer. HRs don't have to try too hard to shop for talent. So what this does basically is it reduces your bargaining power. 
And here's another villain in the story. That's automation, of course. Many of the IT jobs are being eaten away by artificial intelligence and automation. We have been telling you stories about how companies that are laying off employees are also posting ads for workers skilled in AI. It is a fact that AI is eating jobs, if not directly, then indirectly. Big tech firms are now looking for engineers skilled in AI. They are looking for AI programmers. And these are not skills too many IT graduates can claim to have. And these changes in the demand, this change in reality, is expected to affect all. If you are a top executive in a tech company and you are planning to make a switch in the coming months, you may get the kind of offer you were hoping to. By the way, it's the same with variables and bonuses this year. Reports say this year IT employees may also see a cut in their variables. Basically, it's not a great year for the IT industry or for the tech sector or employees working in IT. But I want you to be hopeful and I will tell you why. You see, exceptions are the norm and exceptions are always made for employees who are good at what they do. Did you know not too long ago, Google offered an employee a 300% hike? Let me just repeat that, a 300% hike. This employee was working, uh, was moving to another firm. So Google bent over backwards to retain them. And this employee was not even skilled in AI. And yet that offer was made. This is the same Google, by the way, that is laying off 12,000 employees. That's almost 6% of its global workforce. Recession or no recession, hiring free or not, exceptions are always made for some talents. So don't give up just yet. When it comes to companies and businesses, most of them are only too eager to find ways to streamline expenditure and save costs. So when one hears of a company that is actually paying its employees to socialize, there is bound to be curiosity. A cloud-based security company in the United States has come up with a 333 program. The program was started last year in April and allows up to three employees to go out for food and drinks at 3 p.m. and spend up to $30 each. The amount is reimbursed to them and requires no pre-approval. The only rule is that they post a picture of their outing together on Slack, which is the messaging app. The company's CEO explained the concept in a recent podcast that went viral. He said that the program is an exercise in bringing the team together. According to him, if three employees go out in the afternoon on a weekday, chances are that they will be talking about something relevant and work-related that may ultimately benefit the company. In fact, companies across the world are shaping their policies to benefit employees, like unlimited vacations, where employees can choose when and how long they want to go on a vacation for, as long as it does not affect the company's performance. Allowing employees to bring pets to work, exercise and group activity classes, leaving early on a certain day of the week to spend time with family, flexible working hours, so on and so forth. You see, happy employees make a happy company, which in turn only helps the company's performance in the long run. And this is something that has even shaped how some offices are designed. Many have done away with the classic desk, chair and cubicle model and are instead using innovative lighting, bean bags, playrooms, gardens to make their offices feel like a place that people love to spend time at. But is going the extra mile so important? And does it really work across the spectrum or only for certain kinds of companies? The reality is that not every company can actually afford these benefits. But industry research has clearly shown that most companies that do well have employee well-being at their core. 
So it doesn't really matter whether we call it 333 or 123, no matter how small or cash strapped a company is, even basic gestures towards employee well-being go a long way. And it does not always have to be out of the box. Just making sure a healthy camaraderie is in place and making employees feel valued should be at the core of company's ethics.